please know. This may or may not have spoilers in it. I'm not completely sure. Yo, what's up? It's me, Star Wars Fan 29, with a my third review video, and here we have. And today is Bumblebee from the new Transformers: Rise of the Beasts film. And in case you're wondering if you if you want to watch it and not have to go to theaters, it's available for streaming on Paramount Plus. So if you have that, just go to that, and you can find it. Just so. So here is is Bumblebee. And he's a old Camaro. Except he looks like he's he can also go off road with the the stuff here. It's not exactly um, put on there too well. You know, and he's got this thing on the front of him. Uh, just the details are very good, although there doesn't there don't really need to be much because it's just the main thing with Bumble the main color with Bumblebee is obviously yellow. Of course, if he scanned a vehicle, it, he would make sure it's a yellow one because I guess he just likes yellow. And okay, back here, two red headlights. Um, back here, top. Um, okay, there's some windows and two long black stripes running across him near the underside and he is a shelf warmer. And by the way, if you don't know what shelf warmer means, it means a like, Transformers toys that like when you transform them their their backs kinda just fold up like a turtle shell. Well now you know. And I'm then gonna compare Bumbley to some other Transformers characters I have. The first toy. I got Wheeljack. Um they're they're very similar in size. Quite similar, except this is the original version of Wheeljack and a while back I did a review for the, this figure. I just wanted to include him in the comparison. Okay, now I got Cup, and I do totally understand that that is a weird name, and the weird thing is spelled when it when, if, when you spell his name, it's not C U P, it's actually K U P. It's kind of weird. Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime, and of course. If we can't forget Optimus Prime himself. Okay, let's get these guys out of here. So, okay, and that was a pretty good size comparison. And um, I guess it's time to get to the transformation. So let's do this. So the first thing you should do is um, bring out his arms. Um, then you're gonna want to um, move them, or bend them like that. Um, move this up, like move the front up. Untab this here. Open his uh, cab doors like so, and bring out his front wheels. Hmm. Sorry if my hands are kind of getting in the way. Uh, you, ca you gotta bring up his arms like like so. Twist them around like that. Um, like, like that's how his arm, his arm should look when you're transforming him. Um, the next thing you want to do is uh, uh, someone goes wrong with him. You want to bring 
this down so now, now you can get a look at his face. Um, you want to twist these things up. His uh, that front headlight parts of pieces of the car. Like, um, these two. Um, okay, what else do I do? Um, oh yeah, the legs. Uh, these. <coughs> Oh, oh, his leg fell off. Uh, I, I can just put that back on. Yeah. Okay, then there, that should fix it. So you take his legs apart, or you split them. Um, this here, um, is the camera angle on it. Good. That's actually his feet. Um, you twist this that way. You bring, you tap this in. Um, this may take a second. Uh, okay, got it. When you transform that leg, it should look something like this. Now for the other one, same exact thing. Um, Once again, sorry if my hands are in the way. Twist his legs around like that. And, okay, Bumblebee is almost done. Oh, I gotta bring his arms back down. He looks like he was trying to dance. Gotta take the top of the car. Pull it down like this. You gotta um, pull these two pieces down. Pull them up like that. So his back should look like this. I don't personally, you shouldn't, you don't have to do this, but I like to, you can move his wings back like that, and, and I don't personally like the idea of his wheels just being right here, so, this is, and this is a pretty neat trick. Move his arms like this, you take the wheels, and you put them on there to make it look like his shoulders. I personally think it's a nice touch. And there is Bumblebee from Rise of the Beasts. And let's get a good look at his face. Cool, and that looks very much like Bumblebee. He's got the iconic things in the background. I'm gonna spread him out a little. Um, he look, I must say, he Bumblebee looks very good. I'm not, I'm not even mad. I'm, he looks very good and detailed. I could do without him being a shell former. Because of the, the stuff in the back. Could have been something to cover it. And by the way, in reality, he should look uh, like this. But, uh, but I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Now, uh, and as far as accessories go, so Bumblebee has two accessories. He's got an arm cannon here. Let's just put this right here. And what appears to be a sh an arm blade. So let's, let's put these on. Um, I'm guessing this is meant to go here or something. Um, that, that does look good. And for the arm cannon, let's, uh, let's put it on, on the other arm. Ah, oh, shoot. This is supposed to go on the other arm. Let's switch it the other way around. Um, now I can put the arm cannon on. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. This, these accessories make B look quite a bit cooler. And here he is with his arm blade and arm and hand cannon. Like, it really looks like his hand turned into a cannon. It's very, it's very good and, um, well, I hope you enjoyed 
this video oh, subscribe for, and so like subscribe comment hit the notification bell so you so you don't get notified it, I mean so you do get notified every time I make I'm make an upload to this channel got 46 six subscribers I'm trying to get on the way to at least 1,000 let's see if I can get to 1,000 okay summer's almost over I'm upset about it and I'm and I'm gonna try to finish that ultimate war movie is after right after I finish this I'm gonna get to work on the next act of the movie bye